Joel Thomas Hines is a playwright, actor, singer, songwriter, poet, and novelist from Newfoundland. He's here at Palatine Hills Estate Winery tonight to read from his latest novel, We'll All Be Burnt in Our Bed Some Night. It's the latest session in the Niagara on the Lake Public Library's popular Wine and Word series. Well, I suppose I must have been a sight, no eyebrows and the, the lids of my eyes all red and raw, my head, nothing only stubble. But that's what you get, those kinds of results, running into a burning building. Johnny's dialect, as it is in this book, doesn't actually exist, right? So I sort of created a hybrid of my own Southern Shore accent, which is a small town, Newfoundland, outside of St. John's. I made Johnny a little bit more urban, and I, I gave him uh, this um, supposed, a lot of prison slang and I mashed that all into this one dialect that I think you'd be hard pressed to uncover or, or, or find that out there. How I was casing the place for over a week, watching the old couple come and go, the two of them in bed by 9.30 and lights out by 10. I happen to come from that world. And I'm very close to guys like Johnny, and I, I had come from a really rough and tumble upbringing myself, so. But at the same time, I'm not using my own voice. My vocabulary is much better than Johnny's. Yeah. My education, you know, yeah. you are confined by your, your character's limitations. This book came from somewhere, for sure. And it just landed in my head one night, almost the whole thing, without the details. And I, I, I think emotionally it's probably as autobiographical as anything else I've ever written. Besides his novels and his music, Hines has produced or had roles in various films and on TV has appeared in Republic of Doyle and Orphan Black. He currently stars in the title role of Little Dog on CBC television. You're talking about the first episode. It starts five years ago and then it picks up in present day. That's the first season. We just finished shooting the second season. That airs in, uh, I think, late January on CBC. Second season, I think, is stronger, tougher, meatier writing. We got at something, you know, we, we hit our stride with it. I'm in the best shape of my life. Uncle Tommy is going to destroy Rico. He's going to knock his head off. Tommy has never been knocked out. Thanks for this, folks. Oh, Tommy, just one more thing. Oh. I um, had a great team by my side, and a lot of support from some powerful artists and producers, and uh, I was doing a lot of boxing and fighting, and I got hurt really bad, and my boxing injury kind of like the show popped out of my head, and I initially uh, conceived of it as a trauma, and uh, there was a call for a sort of late night comedy, cable style comedy from the CBC for a number of years and this sort of fit in with their mandate so in the development process it became a comedy. Your novels have been awarded Governor General's Award, um, you won a first novel award for Down to the Dirt, but in researching some of your awards I hear that the Winterset Award is the most important one in your mind? Yeah, you know, I had a hard time with the Governor General's Award. I just, I don't know why, I just felt like it was either a fluke or it was this statement being made by this big institution. You know, if you think about it, like, I've had people come up, readers come up and say, who would have thought that the type of stuff that you write would, would win a, the Governor General's Award, which is like an academic institution, uh, like a, you'd never expect it, and I didn't expect it, and I, I had a lot of doubts around it, as if it was just something that happened to me, and there was something larger at play, and it had nothing to do with the book. And so the Winterset Award is a provincial award in Newfoundland, the Bank of Montreal Winterset Award. It's our, our most financially, uh, it's our biggest award and the most prestigious of the literary awards back home. And I never expected to win that. It's like hometown crowd is tough, right? 
I guess when I won the Winterset Award, it allowed me to accept that I had won the Governor General's Award. Wine and Words continues February 13th. The guest will be author and journalist Tanya Talega. Visit the Niagara on the Lake Public Library's website for ticket information. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.